Hey guys, welcome to my first ever Kindle Fire video, and today I'm going to show you how to play any DS game on your Kindle Fire. Now, for this, um, you are going to need a computer, so if you do not have access to a computer, um, it's impossible. But first, what you want to do is go to the link I put in this description on your Kindle Fire, which I have it, so, um... Yeah. Okay. At this link, it will be called foreshared.com. And before you download anything, make sure that when you scroll down and click settings and in applications, make sure the first one that says apps from unknown sources is turned on. And if you have an older version Kindle, it will be in device, not applications. The device option. After that, you're going to click the little download button right here, and it's little blue with a cloud on it. And then this will pop up, and it will say you have to wait 20 seconds. And then click um, the download button again, and then it will start. And then it will start downloading. But then, what you want to do is plug, oops, just plug your Kindle Fire into your computer, and then let's get on with the computer. All right, so on the computer, you're going to want to open up your browser and go to Google. At Google, let me, okay. at Google, type in coolrom.com. And then it'll be the first one that shows up, most likely. And then click ROM files. Then scroll down and click Nintendo DS. And then scroll down and find the one you want. Um, I'm just going to click M because there's so much games. It's in like alphabetical order. Click whichever letter you want them. You want it. Let me just download. Hmm. My Sims Kingdom. So once you click the one that you want. Oops. This is an advertisement. So this sometimes happens. How do I get rid of it? Okay. Okay, so again, I want My Sims Kingdom. And then once this shows up, you scroll down under the advertisement. This one happens to be Babies R Us. <laughs> but anyway, click the Download Now button. Once you click the download now button, it will take like one second to download, and then open up, um, or click it, and then this little thing will pop up, and it'll say, do you want to run this file? Click run. Then this might pop up. If it doesn't, that's okay, but if it does, click X. And then this will pop up, click next. And then it will say, your software is downloading. All right? Alright guys, now it is done downloading, so all you do is click finish, and then this will pop up, and the one that you downloaded will be selected in blue. Um, then you just pull that to the side, and then you type, and then you open up this and type in Kindle, press enter. Then a folder like this will pop up. Just click Kindle on the side, it will be under the type of computer. Then double click internal storage, and then wait for all your files to load, and go in the download folder. Then in the download folder, drag the My Sims zip file into your, into your downloads on your Kindle. And it will take about a minute or less. And then just make sure it's in there, and it is. So then just press X. And then go onto your Kindle Fire. Um, and on your Kindle Fire, and this joystick, you're gonna click Load New Game, and then you just 
find in your downloads and then find the one you downloaded which I downloaded my sims kingdom and it's right here then you just click that and it will load and you can see the reflection I can't stop that okay never mind but it says it's loading and this is the um thing to move around with and then these are all the buttons and there's a left button right here and a right button right here like there would be on the back of DS and this is like the top screen and this is the bottom but you could actually change the way that the screen looks like you could change it like this and then make your Kindle and then make your Kindle like this and then you can play like a normal DS right now I am um, this game is just starting right now. So it's licensed by Nintendo. There we go, My Sims Kingdom, right there. It says, touch the screen anywhere. Just tap that. And, now if you, and uh, it obviously works. Feel free to subscribe and like this video. And you can always tell your friends. But you, you don't have to. But it would be really nice if you did. And anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, that's about it. Fuzzy out.